Well, young lady, that's part of one of the reasons why I've been ostracized by so many people in my life, because I've known that for years. I mean, first you have to look at where Jesus came from. It's all dark skin tone people over there anyway, pretty much. Okay. I've known for years since I can remember, honestly, that Jesus was not a Caucasian, that Jesus was a darker skin toned person. I've known that for years and I've never had a problem understanding and believing that. Okay. <laughs> It's funny, though, there's been people like me out there for years saying that very thing, and they're discredited, and they're, they're ossized, and, and they want to, uh, people like, oh, no, we got to shut that one up. But the minute, a world leader steps on the stage and says it. Oh my God, it's front page news. I don't care. I'm glad it's getting put out there because it's the truth. And I've known it since as long as I can remember. I've just known that. You know, and I mean, we're all pretty much just a cesspool of ring war anyway. But I'm glad to know that other people are finally waking up to that truth. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Keep smiling, everyone. Black churches don't teach this. It's because they don't want to get in the struggle either. They don't want to make it, quote-unquote, racially motivated. People, this has nothing to do with racially oriented. I'm going to say that again. This has nothing to do with being racially oriented. This is biblical. Amen. I'm going to repeat that. This is biblical. Amen. These are biblical people. If they weren't, why are they in the Bible? If, if God didn't want you to see this, then why did he write it? He did it because it has to do with his story i'm saying your forefathers now what can they walk me don't miss this because 98 percent of everybody out there believes that their root starts in africa so they call themselves black african americans and really what they should be talking themselves is they are what the hebrews and the jews of the original temple of the city of david amen And the the Dikenti cloth that you find in this, in, that most black culture uses as African cloth is the center cloth that was used in Solomon's temple and his mobile moving tabernacle. So where did you get that cloth from? Moses' mobile moving tabernacle. How did Moses get it? Because he was married to Zipporah and also an Ethiopian woman and etc. Now do you get the picture? Is this some good stuff? So you must take the people back past Africa, past Africa, past Africa. You've got to get them back to the city of David and show them right here that your forefathers, the Queen of Sheba, was already in the city of David at the time of Solomon when the temple was being built. Oh, I don't know about you, but I can get excited about that. It's good stuff. How many of you get this DVD? Can I get a win of somebody? Amen. First Kings 3 1. And Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. I am dark. Some versions say black, but lovely. O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon, do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has tanned me. So the priesthood, and then I turned to my black culture and I said, what? Your bloodline is priesthood? And, and no one told you that? I mean, like, not even one sermon with the Holy Ghost? Not one time. Everybody's out. I mean, like, 
it never even crossed their mind. Like, I should maybe just mention this. I'm going to ask you a question. Why, out of thousands and thousands of preachers, would not one in the Holy Ghost have the revelation? Could it be that the presence of this thing that happened in Africa maybe still has some influence that you forget your roots and not even be interested in it. So you wonder why you're hated. Because it's what's in your blood. See, you don't know who you are. And God wants to reveal it to you. But even as I'm telling you it, it, it no, no offense, can I just be... Can I just be friendly? Even, even as I tell the black culture this, it's like, you know, sh I just, you know, don't bring it up. And so what I do with my big mouth, I bring it up. Why? Why should you be ashamed of your culture? I, I don't understand it. It's not in my logic. Well, you have to think about this. Because sometimes we have an internal struggle because God's got a repositioning. But every culture God has, and I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share with you, every culture is in the Bible. Just like this. But the reason we don't bring it up is because we have been brought up in a democracy slash republic and a religion that doesn't want to discuss this because we fear what it will reveal. Because we're into controlling people instead of releasing people. Come on, everybody. Amen. Shalom, 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 shalom. As always, first I want to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Kodesh. Yahweh is the name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect 144,000 of the true children of Israel. All praises and glory to the remnant. Of our Lord and Savior's chosen people. All praises. So, as the scripture says in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. We're going to start there. We're going to bring out a few precepts. We're not really going to spend too long on this. But once again, we are stirring the hornet's nest. The truth will make you free. The truth will truly make you free. And as we brothers have been going over, we've been speaking about this. We've been speaking about this for years. You know, the more information that's coming out about the true children of Israel, who these people truly are. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And this is why we strive to do this work to the end, Lord willing. Lord willing, Yahweh Shai does not take the Holy Spirit from us. We strive to do this work to the end. So it says, then are you my disciples indeed, right? So we're going to continue in the Lord's word. And what's the Lord's word? This is truth. It's the truth of the scriptures, the truth of the end time prophecies, the truth of the second coming of our Lord, the truth of who the true children of Israel are, the truth of who salvation is for. So we continue to strive in this truth and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall what shall make you free. Yeah. Truth shall make you free. And this is what we strive to do because we know that the that Esau is the harbinger of lies. Lies. This is why all of these images that are coming out, that are recently coming out, these are just more images. We've always known about these Russian icon images. There's just more images coming out to do with these Russian icons. That's all it is. Putin's just releasing more. But we've always known about these icons. We, we know who we are, you know. And when I say we, those of us that have come into the truth, those of us that are in the truth, those of us that have come back to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, right, and to the truth of the scriptures. And this is why it says here in 1 Maccabees 3 and 48, and they laid open the book of the law. What's the book of the law? That's the Bible. This is what Esau did. 
wherein the heathens, who's the main heathen adversary for the children of Israel, is Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man, wherein the heathen had sought to what? To paint the likeness of their images. And that's exactly what they did. But the truth would always over overhaul the lie. The truth will always overcome the lie. Always. Because that's the most high's plans. That his truth will always overcome the lies that Esau has sown around the world. It will always overcome this lie. But this is what they did. They sought to paint in the likeness of their images in the book of the law. What is the book of the law? The book of the law is the Bible, the scriptures, the holy Bible. It's as simple as that. And that's exactly what Esau did. Now, I want to play you another video here that I want to show you. Let me see if I can quickly put it up here. All right, just to show you right, that these devils know that they are the devil. All right? <laughs> that these devils know that they are the devil. Uh, where is it? I've got it here. Another video that I want to just quickly play to you guys. Um, where is it? Uh, maybe not. Do I have it? Let's see. I'm just looking to see if I've still got it here. This one here. No, that's not it. Hold on. Stay with me, family. So this one here. Yeah, this is it here. Let me just put this up here. One second, right? Give me a second. Right, I'm going to present the video to the audience, right? Now watch this video here as well, all right? Just to show you that this devil man, this devil can't stop lying, boy. He's tried everything, everything to hold on to his kingdom. Right. About it, because the Holocaust isn't about race. No. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe it is. Yeah, no, it's Jews about a different race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but going it's not, after it's Jews not about and, ideal and race. It's, it's and perfect. But these are two Romans. white groups of people. Well, how do we have to black people? How see them as white men. That's the point. These are Edomites killing Edomites. These are two so-called white groups of people, so-called white, right? So this is what Whoopi's trying to put, let them understand. These are Edomites killing Edomites. They're going to have to do anybody else. This is the devil killing the devil coming up. That's why the scripture says, if his kingdom be divided, all right? If his kingdom be divided, how can it stand? Anyway, listen up. They, but they you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let because they are it's the same nation, race of people. They are Edomites. And this is what these devils don't want to accept. They always try to make it sound like it was these, the Germans were some people from some faraway land from outer space that came and killed the so-called small hats, right? That came up against them in Europe. These were Edomites killing Edomites over other people's shit. But let's listen up, right? Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews. Uh... And there's no such thing as black and white. Just so you understand, there's no such thing as black and white. Black and white are two social constructs that came together after Beacon's Revolution in North Virginia in 1687. That's where the term black and white came from. Black and white are social constructs that the elites put together to control the masses, right? No such thing as black and white. We are the Israelites, they are the Edomites. It's how everybody eats each other. Well, joining us for our weekly segment, bottom line, is Algo Miner CEO Dovid Efune. So, Dovid. Now, listen to this devil here, right? Since you can answer my question, right? <laughs> you can answer my question Are Jews so called white? Are they Edomites, basically, right? Now, listen to the devil. Listen to the response of this small hat Edomite, right? You're going to answer him straight up question. Let's jump right in. Genetically speaking, are Jews white? Well, Natasha, it's important to understand, firstly, the intense sensitivity that this question has for the Jewish community. And actually, it's coming up at a personally very 
relevant time for me. Today is the anniversary of the passing of my great grandfather, David Weinstock, who was um, arrested by the Nazis in Vienna in September 1939. And he was taken to the anthropological department at the Vienna Museum of Natural History. And he was subjected to, together with- He still ain't answered the question yet, right? This is how the devil operates. Let's talk about going around the houses. This is how the devil operates. She asked him a simple question. Are Jews so-called white? Are they Edomites, basically? All right? He's been going around the houses. He's not answered a simple question, yes or no. He's been he's come back with this is this is how Esau operates. This is why it says he is the father of lies. He was a murderer from the beginning. I think it's John 8 and 44. And he's a father of it all. He's a father of lies. But listen, he's still gonna answer the question. Listen. 440 other Jews to degrading tests and measurements because he was considered by the Nazis to be of an inferior race. So it really is the height of irony and insult that when Jews express concern about anti-Semitism being ignored and a blindness to anti-Semitism, they're then lumped into the white category. I want to get Dr. Meyer's opinion on this. Um... He never answered the question, that devil. He just never, she asked, she lumped into that category. You're, you're all Edomites. You just happen to be the head tribe. Happen to be the head tribe. Now listen to this, brother, this this small hat here. This brother's going to answer this small hat question, right? This is what he says here. Classifying it as white Jew, because we know there's black Jews, you know. How does that, how does that make you feel? How does that, how does that initially hit you when I say, yeah, you know, if I said black and white Jewish relations? Um, I guess that's mostly what I deal with is, is in my courses is, is those, are those interactions. I think, um, again, in America, most Jews are Ashkenazic Jews who mm -hmm. are white. I think, um, again, in America, most Jews are Ashkenazic Jews who mm -hmm. are white. You hear that? So this top, 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 he's a, he's associate professor of Jewish studies, right, at the Vanderbilt University, Dr. Adam Mayer. So he knows that they are so-called white, but the other devil, right, he could not admit that they are Edomites, Edomites, Edo-whites, that they are Edo-whites, right? Couldn't admit the other devil, right? The other so-called scholar, but this associate professor knows it for a fact. He asked the question, all right? Let's just quickly go back to what the brother says to him. Um. I guess that's mostly what I black and white Jewish relations. Um, I guess that's mostly what I deal with is is in my courses is is those are those interactions. I think um, again in America most Jews are Ashkenazic Jews who mm -hmm. are white. Most Jews are Ashkenazi Jews are white, so they call themselves Ashkenazi because they lived in those lands. Ashkenazi is what we know as Germany today. They lived in those lands, but they don't descend from Japheth, but yet they call themselves Ashkenazi Jews, but they don't descend from the sons of Japheth, because Ashkenaz is a son of Japheth, or grandson of Japheth. It doesn't come from the line of Shem. But this is what the devil says. That's what I said. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But he does know that they are lumped in with the rest of the Edomites. They are so-called white people. Let's listen up. I think, um, again, in America, most Jews are Ashkenazic Jews who mm -hmm. are white. I think, um, again, in America, most Jews are Ashkenazic Jews who mm -hmm. are white. Sometimes part of the problem between the two communities is that some people will take advantage of that, mm -hmm. will use their whiteness as a way of promoting themselves, as a way of integrating themselves into whatever community they want to be in by removing themselves and denigrating themselves from some other community. Right. I, I find that problematic. So. That's the professor, the professor. He's a professor of, associate professor at the Vanderbilt University. So let's go back to the scriptures, all right? <laughs> let's go back to the scripture, just to show you. This is what it says here. And they load, 1 Maccabees 3 and 48, and they laid open the book of the law, 
which is the Bible. This is what these Edomites did, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's what the devil did. So today they're trying to claim to be the so-called Jews. This is why we, this, all this information is coming out. There's, 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 no, there's no lie that it's of the truth. The scripture says there's no lie. Uh, no lie. Is it no lie of the truth? I think that's how it goes. No lies of the truth, family. That's it, First John's 2 and 21. I have not written unto you, right? So I'm not doing these videos unto you because you know not the truth. Because we know you know the truth. You that are in the truth know the truth. So we're not doing these edifications for you because you know not the truth. Because you know it. We know that you know this truth. Maybe those that are just coming in, that those that have just woken up to their true heritage, the Israelites. Maybe the Israelite Gentiles that are just starting to wake up, those that are just starting to come in, that descend from the transatlantic slave trade, that descend from the Native American Indian tribes, today who they call Latinos, Hispanics, Mexicans, or Puerto Ricans. Maybe those that are just coming in don't know this, but we know, the majority of you know this, and that no lie is of the truth. No lie is of the truth. Simple as that. But this is Esau. Now, this was originally talking about Jake. But we tell you before that these, these scriptures can be twofold and threefold and can apply to other things. This was originally talking about the wicked, wicked Israelites. And there are still many of them out there that are going to go up in smoke in the, in the judgment. All of those wicked Israelites, you know, the Israelites that are doing all the abominable things against the scriptures, against the Bible, against the laws, commandments, and statutes, and doing it willingly, they're going to go up in smoke. <laughs> In holy smoke. But this is Esau. You are of your father the devil. 8 and 44. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. Why? Because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in these Edomites. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Esau is the father of lies. This is why he did this. This is why he laid open the book of the law, the Bible, wherein the heathens, mainly the Edomites, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. This is what they did. You go to Psalms 58 and 1. It says, do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightly, O sons of men? Yea, in heart you work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked, who are the wicked? That's Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man, are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, doing what? Speaking lies. That's what they do. Their poison is the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stops her ear. So when that woman asks that small hat, are the so-called small hats white he didn't answer the question he spent two minutes explaining about his mother his grandmother and this and that and all the conditions all of these different things that he was saying to her but he never answered the question because they are like a deaf adder they stop his their ear they don't want to hear the truth <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> they don't want to hear this truth but there's nothing they can stop they can't stop this truth all they can do is hire third parties to try and come up against this truth which is what they are doing they are actively, just so you know, these small hats, right? These small hats, the JJs, the Ish people, are actively hiring and paying many Israelite camps out there to come up against this truth. You've got Israelite camps teaching that uh, homosexuals can make it. Truly believe that. I was watching a video on um, the Brother Holy, Holy Bibles, Defenders. Earlier today, the video here, you got they, they're paying these people, they're actively paying these these our people to um come up against this truth. Is it here? Let's see if I can find it. They're actively funding Israelite groups. So here it is. These are elders of Israel. Let's quick listen to a little bit. This is to show this this is what they are doing.
This is what they're actively doing, all right? You should subscribe to this brother's channel. He's uh, uh, one of the head guys. Justification for uh, saying that uh, all of them gay people and all that other stuff. Yeah. See, they, 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 they focus in mm. on one thing. Yes. For the ungodly and for sinners. Okay, for that's who the law for. Mm -hmm. Read. For, unhol for unholy and profane. Mm -hmm. For murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers. For manslayers. Okay, now hold on before we go too far. To give you better understanding what it means spiritually. Oh, wow. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause whosoever mm -hmm. hate his brother mm -hmm. see that okay. kill now murder me kill me hey y'all see that he changed mm -hmm. yes uh, and yes. not teaching what the most high saying they're gonna mm -hmm. teach you something like hey you know a ufo gonna come pick you up man you know you, you you're gonna have a cape just like superman you know you're gonna be able to climb the walls like spider-man all that you're going to be a superhero. <laughs> All that stuff. Christ going to come and he's going to stomp everybody with his big with his big yes, feet. Yeah. That's what I heard Yawasaf say. Yeah. That's how the blood going to get on his vest. He's going to be stomping people with his black, oh, oh. big black feet. I heard him say that. Oh, 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 That's how stupid God. these men are y'all listening to. That it, That is contrary to sound doctrine. That's what this, this person used in order to say that that means that gay people are going to die. They in competition with God. He's talking about mankind, so to speak. People <laughs> think that they so much better. Well, I'm a Christian, you know, and I know the Bible. I go to Bible study, you know, and I know that if you if you sleeping with another man or you sleeping with another woman, uh, you going to hell. Now, we just read, he said he hate, he hate abomination worse than anything, which is lying. Yes. Wow. So they in a bigger uh, sin than the people who they pointing the finger at. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive your brother because he gay, and you're offended by him being gay, even though you ain't paying their bills, you're not going to their house interacting with them. You ain't having no type of interaction with them people, yet you care what them people don't. And, and the thing is, Elder, that they have nothing to forgive them because they are deciding what to do with their own body. They're not yes. asking them or they should not have to ask them for any kind of permission to yes. feel like they want to feel or to be how they want to be because they don't owe them. They owe, they the, owe. They owe themselves. Correct. And the only one that has that has the, the, the uh, it's not possibility. The only one that can judge is God. No yes, one correct. else, no human, no yes. nothing. So, as you can see, they're, they're off their minds. But he that is spiritual judges all things, absolutely. All right, And this is what we do. All right, but this is what they're doing. They're actively hiring these Israelites, paying them to come up against the doctrine, to preach against it, to make you believe that you as uh, somehow you as if you're a, a homo mo, you can be saved. If you're committing adultery openly, that you can be saved. No, you're gonna go up in smoke. Those of you that are willfully sinning and doing these things, you're gonna go up in smoke, mate. You're gonna go up in smoke. There's no salvation for you. There, the scripture says, right? Um, to hate the evil, hate the evil and love the good. Is it Amos? Amos 5 and 15, hate the evil and love the good. So an act of homosexuality is an abomination to the most high. It's evil. So we hate the evil, right? So yeah, we're of course we're meant to hate them. But that's what they're doing. Why would you want to keep... The, the scripture says that two can't walk together, right? Um, we'll come back to that. Is that, is that Amos 3 and 3? That's an Amos again, boy. Amos is saying a lot here. It's an Amos 3 and 3, I believe it is. Two can't walk together unless they agree. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So how are you meant to be, you and a homo, a momo, going together, going places together, 
sharing, doing things together when you know that he's an abomination to the most high. And he obviously sees you as an abomination to him because he knows that you hate what he does. Why the hell would you want to be hanging out with these people? But this is what they're doing. They're actively paying these groups. And Amos says here again, 5 and 15, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. This is what we do. We don't go out actively condemning homos. You know, we're not going into gay communities and saying, oh, you're an abomination. You're going to go up and flame that. We avoid them. We're not interested in them because we know what their end is. <laughs> we know what their end is. So we don't get involved with them. We're not going into, you know, gay communities to try and antagonize these people or, or running up in the middle of a gay festival and putting up a sign says, yeah, how is your going to destroy you? No, no, no. We're not interested in them. Let them do what they got to do. But we know what their judgment is. We're not going to hang out with these people. We're not going to justify them or hang out with them. But there are many Israelite groups that have been popping up recently that are not speaking the truth and that have been paid off by Esau not to tell the truth and to come up against this truth. So just be beware. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of them out there. It says, it may be that the Lord Yahweh, thy power of hosts, will be what gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So we just pray that the Lord is going to be you know, gracious unto us because we know that that's evil. We know that that's an abomination. Psalms 97 and 10. Ye that love Yahweh hate evil. He preserves the souls of the saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. The wicked are the Edomites. Simple as that. These Israelite groups, many of our people are going to just, Scripture says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. They are joining hands with these Edomites and being paid to do this. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is to what? To hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Simple as that. So, be careful. Let me finish it here. John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you, family, but me it hateth, Yahweh Shai, because I testify of it that what? That the works thereof are evil. And we know the acts of what they do are evil acts. It's as simple as that. So there's a lot going on. And all we're here to do is give you the 100% truth. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I pray you're edified. As is see from today's tale, dear Esau, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free, boy. It will set you free. And that freedom is coming into this truth. So, shalom, shalom, shalom. As I say, keep praying. Keep prayed up, family. Repent. Hold on to this truth and don't let them shatter your faith. All praise and glory to Yahweh Shalom.